everyone for our today's session we have with us ms jarna jaktiani she is a qualified lawyer and a certified mediator by indian institute of corporate affairs under the aegis of ministry of corporate affairs government of india she is a mediator and online dispute resolution at brave and online conflict management platform as an independent practitioner her work involves assisting startups small and medium sized enterprises and to set up their internal management and consumer dispute resolution system as an adr practitioner she has handled 25 plus cases as sole arbitrator and have facilitated more than 15 plus private mediations she is a co-founder of prerna foundation a socio legal initiative started with an objective to ease the access to justice for people at large and aims to work towards an increased awareness of mediation as primary mode of resolving any dispute She has organized mediation outreach programs at Maharashtra National Law University Mumbai and Amity Law University Mumbai. She is also a mediation coach at Indian Merchant Chambers, Chamber of Commerce and Industry, a century-old leading chamber of commerce for 40 years basic mediation training workshop, assistant researcher and mediation trainer at Praveen Gandhi College of Law, Mumbai. for 6 days certificate program in conflict resolution via mediation she is awarded best research paper title for paper 6 hats of mediator at a national youth conference she has also participated in american bar association mediation week and arbitration week ma'am we are very delightful to have you for today's session thank you so much mediation ethics mediation has been coming to the forefront for a while so far as the consensual dispute resolution is concerned it offers party autonomy flexibility privacy confidentiality which attracts party to choose mediation and reach a mutually acceptable agreement the aim of mediation is to come up with a solution that will help parties with win win solution and also help them preserve their relationship the role of a mediator is usually very tricky in such situation A mediator is a neutral third party engaged to help facilitate the resolution process. They are part of the process so that the parties can have dialogue through the neutral third party and the dispute is not escalated to a full-blown lawsuit. A mediator is not supposed to let their opinion, comments, attitude, feelings, judgment in the way of the process and not let these get out of hand by way of imposing them on the party. however controlling your emotions in the middle of the heated argument or any other situation during the mediation process can be little difficult a mediator could be asked questions such as what do you think about our offer or do you think we should agree on this matter or such similar questions the mediator might also be tempted to talk to the parties outside the mediation session and convey any thought in his or her mind a mediator's personal bias must be kept aside in the session the line between a facilitator and arbitrator must be taken care of and the mediator shall never work beyond his or her scope all these instances would be highly unprofessional and would borderline be unethical these kind of ethical issues might discourage parties from choosing the mechanism for resolution of their dispute even though ethics might be subjective and this might complicate the things further but there are certain requirements that might be fulfilled the understanding of ethics may vary according to personality cultural identities background and various other factors there might be ambiguity on what one mediator considers okay but another might not however to be effective a mediator must have certain virtues perfected such as impartiality confidentiality competence and conflict of interest as some of them let's look into detail of it impartiality this is an important aspect of the mediation the entire session is based on the fact that a neutral third party is engaged for a dispute resolution the mediator should not be taking any sides any kind of conduct 
might be like favoritism, prejudice, distaste, or respect towards one of the parties is considered to be the partiality. Fairness and neutrality form the core of the position of the mediator. They can't be put out, they can't really put out their opinions even if they strongly feel about one particular issue. They even have no authority to make decisions. They are meant to facilitate a dialogue between the parties and help them through the process. This needs a chair of neutrality to give parties the help they need. Confidentiality Confidentiality of information is one of the reasons that attract parties to the mediation process for resolving their disputes. Confidentiality should be maintained by the mediator with regards to the information from the session unless otherwise agreed. Maintaining privacy can help build trust between the parties and on the sessions which ultimately leads to reaching out a better agreement. Rules regarding confidentiality terms must be laid down clearly to the parties well in advance. Conflict of interest Even an appearance of conflict of interest must be completely avoided during the mediation session. It arises when there is some kind of relation or involvement of mediator with the parties. This connection can be in any form and raise questions on the entire process. The third party is supposed to be neutral and not for or against any party. As a precaution, parties and mediator must check if there are any connection and disclose them followed by an appropriate actions. Competence. Choosing a mediator is an important task for the parties. Competence. Choosing a mediator is an important task for the parties. They often decide to choose a person who is an expert in the field where the dispute has arisen. The expectations of parties need to be fulfilled as mediation is essentially a party-centric process. Expertise, experience, skills are important to the sessions and must be according to what party needs. Educational programs, training sessions could really help a mediator to be able to handle majority of the sessions. This is because the approach of the mediator who knows how to handle a particular kind of dispute and is skilled in that area would differ from a very successful mediator. For a mediation to be effective, every party needs to have some trust in the process and they need to be invested in the process. These certain principles form foundation of such a trust. The disputing parties need to believe that the process promises them confidentiality, neutrality, competence, etc. Mediation is a process that is rising in the midst, midst of an alternative means of dispute resolution. The feature and the characteristics of the process attracts disputing parties. These, if painted with ethical issues, can prove to be doomed for the process. A little training of the mediators and some extra care to maintain the ethical standards can go a long way. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for such an insightful session. I really hope that all our attendees and students and all our listeners might have been benefited with this insightful video of yours. Thank you so much, ma'am.